during the Dance of the Dragons, after the death of Rhaenyra's son, Lucaris, and the retaliation by sending blood and cheese to kill one of Queen Alicent's sons, King Aegon II still had revenge in his mind. With the murder of his heir still fresh, he planned to directly launch an attack on Dragonstone, descending on Dragonback to either seize or slay his half-sister and sons. It took all of the Green Council to talk him out of it. Sir Christian Cole, the Hand of the King, suggested a different approach. But since Rhaenyra made use of stealth and treachery, we will pay the princess back in her own bloody coin, he told King Aegon. For this act of vengeance, he chose Sir Eric Cargill. He was intimately familiar with the castle at Dragonstone, as he and his twin brother both had been members of the King's Guard during the reign of the previous king, Viserys I. But after the death of the king, Sir Eric sided with Aegon and the Greens, while Eric sided with the Blacks and joined the Queen's Guard of Rhaenyra. The plan was to drop Sir Eric off in the village under the castle, dressed as a simple fisherman and after putting on the white cloak of a queen's guard, he could make his way to the queen. Once clad in white, Sir Eric should be able to move freely about Dragonstone, Sir Christian suggested. Any guard would surely mistake him for his brother. Sir Eric had no choice. He was sworn to obey king and commander, although he was not happy about the mission. Septon Eustace writes that the troubled knight visited the Red Keep Sept on the night he was to sail, to pray for forgiveness to the mother. The true purpose of the mission is still a matter of debate. Grandmaster Munkun writes that Eric had been commanded to slay Rhaenyra, putting an end to her rebellion, while Mushroom, who was a dwarf who served as a fool for Queen Rhaenyra, claims that her sons were the real prey. Sir Eric came ashore without troubles, and with his white armor and white cloak, he easily gained entrance into the castle, in the guise of his own brother. Deep inside the castle, however, as he was making his way to the royal apartments, he found himself face to face with his twin, Sir Eric. Eric immediately understood what his brother's presence meant. Singers and storytellers tell us that Sir Eric said, I love you, brother, as he drew his sword, and that Sir Eric replied, And I you, brother, as he drew his own. The twins battled for almost an hour. Grandmaster Munton says, a clash of steel on steel woke half the queen's court, but the onlookers could only stand by helplessly and watch, for no one could tell which brother was which. And in the end, they both dealt each other mortal wounds and died in one another's arms with tears on their cheeks. But Mushroom's account is much shorter and nastier. He claims the fight only lasted moments and that there were no declarations of brotherly love. Each brother denounced the other as a traitor as they clashed. Sir Eric, standing above his twin, struck the first deadly blow, a savage downward cut that almost took his brother's sword arm off the shoulder. But as he fell, he grabbed his brother's cloak and pulled him close enough to shove a dagger deep into his belly. But whichever version is the truth, singers and storytellers, for obvious reasons, prefer the first account of the story, 